You play a character named Mia, and I could not help thinking of Mia Fauro in Rosemary's Baby. Was it an inspiration for you? What other female stars did you use like inspiration? Um, definitely, Mia Farrow was a reference. Rosemary's Baby was a, a big reference. Um, so was Polanski's Repulsion, um, and Catherine Deneuve in that. You know, Julie Christie in uh, Don't Look Now. There were so many. I mean, you know, all of Hitchcock's, um, mm -hmm. you know, um, classic heroines were. You know, the, the movie was pitched as an homage to, to a time in horror that was very celebrated, you know, in the 1970s, late 60s, 70s. And um, that's what intrigued me about the project, you know, because some of my favorite films in the genre are, are of that time. And, and those actresses for me are very iconic. And mm -hmm. to play homage to that was, was a big appeal. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it was kind of, you know, that, that, uh, that was what drew me. What did you think about The Conjuring? Well, I'd seen The Conjuring and I'd really liked it. You know, I thought it was a very well-made film and um, it was just a beautiful film even before you applied the genre on top and um, very effective and you can't, you know, deny that, you know, people want more of that. You know, it was a huge commercial success and um, it was a real testament to all the people involved in it and then when they spoke to me about this project I was just excited to work with people who had you know really really delivered something quite special um, you know in a genre that's easily abused I think you know and then a very gratuitous horror um, is is um, there's more of that around and um, I think yeah they really brought it back to to great filmmaking and great performances and story based um, plots and, and and there's no gimmick it's very mm -hmm. it's very grassroots um, in their scares and I, and I like that so you know it's just good quality so I was I was it was a big appeal um, in that sense what do you think about horror in genre oh you know uh, horror is an incredible genre because it's so escapist for your audience you know you go to a horror film and, and you can forget everything about your, your daily life and it's just so immersive and um, I love that. You know, all great art is, is kind of a physical experience as well and I, I love that about horror um, it, because, you know, you, you, you have such a bodily reaction as much as a, a cerebral one. Uh, so, yeah, just to kind of play with that and, and see if we could make the scares and, and, and also the science of scares is so interesting, you know, the psychology around how to make people scared and what people are scared by, you know, mm -hmm. the, and um, you'd be surprised that there were scenes that we did that we thought maybe would be scary, but people didn't respond, and then other ones that we thought maybe not so much, and it's, it's interesting and in how technical, I love how technical horror is, mm -hmm. it's about beats and timing, and, and it's so precise, and it's a real science, so... You know, as an actor, you go into something and you want to believe your surroundings and be immersed by it and just be real and play with the truth. But with horror, you have to be like, okay, no, stop. <laughs> Look over your shoulder, hand down, demon, you know, react. <laughs> so it was, it was an interesting um, process for me because I hadn't done it before, but it's a process I'd like to do again. And, you know, it, it's something, yeah, to, to marry the, the physicality and, and the, the kind of... Um, the cerebral element, you know, can make for some very interesting cinema. So, yeah, it's a genre I'm very intrigued by. How involved was James Wan as a producer in this movie? No, he was hands-on. I mean, James Wan is not someone to uh, let his passion, you know, <laughs> go by the wayside. He would film Fast and the Furious and then come onto our set after, you know, in long hours, and he, he was so passionate. You know, he, he's someone who has the most energy and you know I think when when you love what you do it kind of you exude it every and he's a, he's a testament of that and he'd be like okay Adam, are you gonna run down the corridor you're gonna you're gonna fall I and mean, he would do all the action as well you know so he was very 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 passionate and um, a wonderful you know support um, for me and that you know I always had someone to talk to if, if I needed to get in the zone or you know keep my energy up um, 
Yeah, and he, he's you know at the top of his game at the moment, and he's with a real a real connoisseur of the genre. And I felt very in very good hands, mm -hmm. knowing that he was um, a part of it. So I was okay. very lucky. I'll do it again any any day. Would you like to be in a sequel? I would like to be in a sequel. Hey, as long as it's still called Annabelle. <laughs> I mean, this could go on forever. I would. I, I feel very proud of the movie, you know, mostly because it was a very harmonious set. We, we all very much enjoyed working together and we worked really hard. And um, we had 25 days to shoot, not uh, the same budget as The Conjuring, you know, and there were limitations. And um, I think the movie and its success is, is, a, is a real testament to, to everyone involved, you know, from all the areas of the crew and um, to have a chance to work with all of them again, I'd be very, very happy to. And of course, Warner Brothers and New Line, those guys. <laughs> But yeah, they're good. It was a good, a very good experience. So I'd, I'd love to do it again.